everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the iRobot BravaJet Robot Mop. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here. I really like the blue and white color scheme we have going on. They show you all the included contents right there. We have the M6 version. This is the M6110. You can see it from the side and from the back. I do wanna point out a good way to save money if you're shopping on Amazon is to purchase warehouse deals. So we have a brand new unit here, but it does have some damage to the retail box, but most of you probably aren't gonna save the box anyways, or if you're opening up, you might end up ripping it yourself. So go ahead, save a couple bucks. Be sure to check out warehouse deals. I highly recommend them. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product literature right here with our warranty information. This does come with the one year warranty, followed by our safety guide. Lastly, you can see we have our user guide and manual walking us through everything we need to know about our product from getting started to set up to use to cleaning and maintaining it. We even have a nice QR code you can scan to download the iRobot Home app for iOS and Android devices. You can see it from the back side right here. Next up, you may notice we have our charging base. Check this out, looks great. iRobot's logo and branding, indicator light. You can see our sensors right there all along the side in the back where we're gonna connect our included power cable and some extra cable storage right here for proper cable management. Pay attention, we have the channels on the side too, so we can route the cord out that way. You can see from the very bottom additional product information and we have nice grip feet right there, four of them. Two charging contacts. Underneath the unit, you can see we have an additional piece that we can install and just snap right in place right there. That looks great. We have two additional grip feet right there. You can see our white included power supply cable. You may notice too, we have a couple different cleaning pad options. So first up, we have our Bona iRobot reusable cloth and pad right there, followed by two single use dry cleaning pads for sweeping. And we have two single use wet mopping pads right there. We have two Bona concentrate mixes. One is for hardwood floors. The other one is for hard surfaces, two ounces in each. You can learn more about them right there in the back, how to use them if desired. And lastly, you can see we have the cleaner itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's a unit up close, check it out. You can see everything looks great. From the top, we have our iRobot logo and branding, our camera, some navigational sensors. You can see our three control buttons right there. We have this little water drop icon. We can go ahead, we can open this to release. Reveal some instructions for our water tank and solution tank right there. So go ahead, you can grab this handle to pop it out. Got the iRobot BravaJet logo and branding. On this side, you can see we can twist to unlock so we can fill up with our water and solution. You can see what the inside looks like with our water tank removed. And then you may notice on the tank itself, we got to line everything back up. Then it just snaps right in place. So there we go. Now let's look at it from the front. You can see we have a navigational bumper right here. You can see additional sensors and we have where our solution is going to shoot out. You can see it from the side, our robot BravaJet logo and branding. Here's the back, an additional sensor for us. You can see the other side and get a feel for the movement of the bumper as it navigates. Now we can flip it over to the bottom. You can see on the bottom right here, we have our charging contacts, our spring-loaded drive wheels. Those look really nice, really cool. And then you can see where we're gonna attach our cleaning pad or mopping pad right here. And you can just follow the prompt and you can see how everything looks. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up. Step one is to install a cleaning pad. So you can see the pad we have selected. You're gonna follow the arrow and you're gonna just gently slide everything in place. So just line it up like so. You can see that right here and we can pull that up a little bit. And that just snaps right in. So there we go. It is now successfully installed on our unit. You can see it's not going anywhere. Next up, let's flip it over. And now it's time to fill up our tank. We're pouring in our solution right now, the concentrate. Now the rest we're gonna fill up with water. Now you can see our tank is full. So let's go ahead, let's lock it up. 
and let's put it back in place just like so. Now it's time to set up the mobile app. So you can see we have the robot mop connected to the charging base and the charging base is plugged in. We also have the iRobot home app downloaded on our mobile device. You can see what it looks like right here on the home screen that we have with multiple devices already set up. In your case, you're most likely adding a new device or maybe you have one Roomba already connected. So go ahead, select the menu in the top left hand corner, choose add a robot. From this step, it may pick it up via Bluetooth if you have Bluetooth enabled. If not though, go ahead, just choose BravaJet down here. Choose the correct make and model. This is the BravaJet M series. So you're gonna select that. They have a checklist walking you through what you'll need. Next, you can see the charging station set up right here. Be sure to follow all of the checklist recommendations. Select continue. Now we need to connect to our Wi-Fi network. So go ahead, choose your Wi-Fi network from this list and then select yes, continue. Now you'll be prompted at this screen to enter your password, then go ahead, select continue. Now it's time to activate our BravaJet. So we have to press and hold the spot and home cleaning buttons for around two seconds, then release, we'll hear a sound. So let's go ahead, let's do that right now. There we go, we even have a nice blue light illuminating as well. Select continue. And you can see it's working now and searching for the robot and now it's connecting to it and now it's working on connecting to Wi-Fi. It's going pretty quickly here, verifying our password, and that's gonna establish a cloud connection. All right, so there we go. You just heard that music. Everything was successfully set up. Fully set up and ready to go. Press clean to get to work. There we go, it's that simple guys. I would say from start to finish, it'll take you around a minute or so to do all of that, not even. But now we can go ahead, we can select continue again. We can name our robot. And now you can see setup is complete and they're gonna walk you through your experience right here. So we have 18 pages we can toggle through. I'll do that really quickly, but you guys can see them. Feel free to pause as needed. Walking you through everything you need to know. This is important too, the systematic row by row cleaning. It can detect and avoid area rugs and carpets, which is great. It'll avoid stairs as you would expect. Very similar to the experience you get with the RoboVac. It's really nice that they give you all this information right here at your fingertips. And there we go, now we can select done. And you can see we can go into our device settings. So before we start cleaning, let's go ahead, let's look at all of our app settings. So obviously we have the BravaJet selected within the iRobot Home app. You can see the cool graphic of it. First up, let's look at the map setting right here. So we haven't cleaned yet, but we can start creating a new smart map once we do. And then you can see we have our battery status. It's currently ready to mop. We have a favorite section. So once we have a couple cleans under our belt, we'll be able to populate our favorite section right here. And you can see how you can customize that. Color coded everything else. Add new favorites. Next, you can see our scheduling options. We can choose to schedule out a clean or do not disturb. And for cleaning, you can see when we create the schedule, we can choose either time-based schedule or automation. With automation, it'll be smart enough to start the robot mop once you leave your house. So just enable that right there. Choose the days of the week. For time, if you have a more rigid schedule, you can go ahead and just select the time you want to start cleaning, AM, PM, hour, minute, which days of the week you want it to repeat. Set the schedule button and you're all set and ready to go right there. Next, you can see our cleaning history. So once it starts cleaning, we'll be able to see the total area cleaned. And it's the last 30 reports right there. And lifetime statistics, which is cool, keeps a running total. Any messages will show up right there within the app. And then you can see we have our robot settings. Let's look at those. So we can learn more about our particular mop. We can locate it. So you can see we can try right now and it's smart enough to know that it's on the base. So it's not gonna chime. But let's remove it from the base and then it chimes for us. And then you can see we have our cleaning preferences right here. So we can choose our mop path overlap settings, a little more, a lot. And our liquid amount, eco standard or ultra, that'll depend how dirty your floors are. And then you can see Wi-Fi settings, our language, we can reboot it, we can restore it all within the settings a help section and an iRobot beta. If you're interested in that, you can select that right there. 
Now let's go ahead, let's start mopping. So our cleaning preferences for the BravaJet are mop path overlap at more setting and liquid amount at standard. Let's go ahead, let's start our clean so we can see it in action right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and have it mop everywhere. You can see very responsive with the mobile app. Now it's gonna work on cleaning for us. So there we go, it's off the base. And now it's gonna clean in a nice logical cleaning pattern going back and forth with an overlap, giving us a nice and thorough clean. So you can see the overlap right there. And now it's working on wetting the floor. It's gonna go back, forth, it's gonna stop, overlap on itself, and continue on with the clean. So here we go. It's going forward, it's gonna go backwards, and then you can see, just sprayed our solution, and continuing on with the clean. Uses that bumper to navigate. Now it's gonna turn around with an overlap. It's gonna go forward, backwards, solution, forwards, wait for it, you guessed it, backwards, solution, and continuing on with its clean. Now we currently have it set to overlap a little. This is the minimum amount of overlap, and we have the fluid set to eco. So watch the overlap right here. Not much. There's the fluid, and it's gonna continue on. I wanted to show you the Ultra Spray up close. So if you can see that it really soaks the floor. The floor is actually slippery wet right here. So you can get a feel for the different water levels and what you may want with your clean and the type of overlap that you want. I think it's pretty cool that it goes back and forth and makes its way, giving you that nice consistency and again, a really wet floor if you want, depending on the setting that you desire. I wanted to show the water level up close right here once it sprays again. That's ultra again, so you can see it's gonna be really wet, which is great. So much so you can see the floor shiny. It's more than damp, because you can see my fingers are wet. I would say it's pretty slippery, so you can really saturate the floor if you want with this cleaner. So watch as the BravaJet approaches the baseboard right here. You can see how close it gets. The mop is still gonna leave a little gap. You can see where the floor is still dry versus wet, so wet and dry between basically the baseboard and the floor, there will be a slight area it won't be able to cover. So maybe you can see right here, the path overlap better for the setting. So this is gonna be the least amount of overlap possible. You can see that right there. So I would say about three quarters or so, maybe 80% is gonna be a new area. It's cleaning and mopping with just like a 20% or so overlap from the previously mopped path. It's gonna be harder to see here, but for the more setting, it's about 50% overlap with the previously mopped section. You might be able to see right there where it's been mopped and where it hasn't. So with the more setting, this is gonna give us the most overlap possible. Maybe you can see right here where it didn't overlap. So it's just a really small area. It's almost 100% full coverage with just the last little portion about that much of our BravaJet not being covered. And you can see right here too, while we're talking about that, it's just encountered an obstacle with the air vent. And you can see it's avoiding it, it's not driving over it, and it's going back this way. The BravaJet's also equipped with a spot cleaning feature, so you can go ahead, you can press this button right here. And now we've activated spot clean, and it will just focus and concentrate on this particular area.
So we just finished spot cleaning mode. Check it out. Everything looks great. It takes around six minutes and you can see the area right here where it's wet. It makes a nice square. So basically around, I'd say five unit widths is going to be the square it's going to make in the spot that it's going to clean. It's going to take around six minutes or so. So you can see the Brava Jet's equipped with sensors, so it's going to prevent it from navigating down the steps, whether that's the front bumper hitting a threshold or the actual cliff sensors activating, you can see it's unable to go down the steps, whether it's going forwards, or you can see there's that little sensor on the back that should prevent it from falling down the steps if it's going backwards in its cleaning process. Same can be said for carpets as well. You can see it approaches the carpet right there and it doesn't go any further. So now you can see a close up of our Brava Jet and get a feel for how dirty it is after one clean. So it did a really nice job here. Picking up a lot of dirt, even a couple of obstacles too. Looks like we've got some insect shells. Kind of interesting. But you can see this is after cleaning a kitchen, a family room, a large entryway, and a hallway. This is what you can expect with your Brava Jet. Now it's time to have some fun cleaning in the kitchen. You can see we got some dried ketchup and mustard stains right here on the floor. And we'll see how it does cleaning them up. Honestly, I can't believe it looks that good just after one pass right there. I thought it was going to struggle with it, especially because there's no sort of mopping or scrubbing action. So I thought it would smear more than it did, but it actually picked it right up. Let's watch as it continues to clean. Let's look up in that corner. You can see it's just over it right now. We'll see if it's able to pick that up. First though, it's picking up at the bottom. That looks great. I still see a little bit of mustard there. But let's let it continue to do its thing. So check that out. You can see the floor looks great where it's cleaned. Really nice. No more ketchup or mustard there. And then it hasn't made its way back this side yet to clean, but you can see how it did smear it a little bit on the outer part of the mopping path where it made its wide turn. But once it comes back down this side, it'll get that area and it'll look as good as new. All right, it's coming up to our problem area right here. All right, there we go. Just got the last problem spot and it's continuing on with its clean. Don't forget the Brava Jet's smart enough to return home on its own after it finishes cleaning or if it needs to recharge. You can see it's working on finding it's charging base right here. It's lining itself up so it can make its final approach. You can see the lights moving, showing you that it's thinking and processing. Now it's making those small micro movements. And it's approaching the charging base. It's gonna spin around. and back its way up to charge. There we go, it's back home and charging. Now that we finished cleaning, I thought we'd go back into the iRobot app so we can look at the Brava Jet now and see some of the additional information that it's populated for us after we clean. So first up, let's select the map option right here. You can see now we have a main floor map that's been made for us and I've already edited it and you can see the different options we have here. So we can choose to zoom in, zoom out. We can rotate the angles however you see fit. 
At the bottom, we have four different options. First up, room dividers. You can see the ones we have selected in green. We could add another divider as needed if we wanted to. We can rotate it. Next up, you can see we can go to room labels. We already have ours labeled. You can see the different options that we have. Tons to choose from. Then we can set our zone. So we have keep out zones and cleaning zones. Keep out zones, that's true to its name. Select areas around your house, maybe obstacles, cords, cables, whatever it gets tangled up on that you want it to avoid. Just drag and drop as needed around your house. And then for our clean zones, that's gonna be an area of high foot traffic you wanna really have it focus on to clean. You can select that right there. Again, everything's just drag and drop, right? And then you can just resize it as you see fit. So really simple to do. And then lastly, we have thresholds. So you can mark the thresholds in your house to help this navigate better. That's your option right there if you wanna add a threshold in. And now back at this screen, you can see we actually have a plus icon in the top right hand corner. This does support multi-level mapping. So if we wanna take this to our basement, maybe upstairs, a couple different spots around the house, that sort of thing, you can generate new maps here. And you don't need to have it start from the charging base, which is nice. So if you wanna take this somewhere else, you don't have to redo your map every time. You can just switch to the map you want to use at any given moment. Next, you can see further down, we have our favorites option, so we can have it mop everywhere. We could also choose a new place for it to mop, right? We can just choose uh, the map and then the rooms. Let's just have it do just the kitchen and then we could be done or just the kitchen in the hallway for this one. You know, you could do that. Or if you just want a cleaning zone, right? We just want to have the front door zone cleaned. You can set those favorites right there. Really convenient, easy to get to. Then we have scheduling, we already looked at that, but now let's look at our cleaning history since we've had some information populate. You can see all of our cleans. Here's our completed clean. You can see what it did, how it navigated. Pretty cool. The area, the tank, the time, how it was started, which is pretty neat. So we have all those, and then we can now see lifetime statistics, nine jobs, almost four hours of cleaning time right here with a nice breakdown in history for us. And at the bottom, you can see we still don't have any messages yet, but if they ever show up, that's where you're gonna find them. The BravaJet's compatible with voice assistants like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. You can see a list of the Alexa commands right here. There's so many different actions that this robot mop can take. So you can see the actions are on the left side and the commands are on the right side. So start mopping, stop mopping, pause mopping, start, stop and pause and resume sweeping, return to home base, Brava status, locate it, stop locate Brava, schedule mopping, schedule sweeping, remove a scheduled mopping job, remove a scheduled sweeping job, list schedule, schedule by room, clean by room, clean by zone, clean by object, and clean by favorite. So you can see it's very capable in the voice control department. Now, let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the iRobot BravaJet. There's a couple things I wanna say. The first thing is I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this particular unit when it showed up. I've used quite a few RoboVacs that are two-in-one versions that obviously vacuum, but they also have a mopping attachment. With those, they follow the same concept for the most part as this particular unit where they basically just get a pad wet and it mops and wipes back and forth on your floor. But I gotta say with this particular unit, it definitely does a much better job than those combo units. That's what I wasn't sure about. I honestly thought it wouldn't be any better, but there is a noticeable cleaning difference with this dedicated RoboMop, which hopefully you would expect because this costs just as much as those combo units and it doesn't have vacuuming abilities. But most of you may be pairing this with an iRobot RoboVac anyways, and you'll have that run first and clean your house, then you'll have this run afterwards, so you don't need to have a vacuuming attachment or a feature with it. So I totally get what's going on there with this particular design. That's who I really believe this is serving. Somebody that already has a RoboVac or they vacuum their house on their own and just want to have the mopping abilities, that's where this really comes in. It's fairly quiet since there isn't any vacuuming. It does a good job just making a little bit of noise as it squirts the water and obviously as you hear the unit moving around your house. 
I also like the smart mapping abilities that we get. It's great to see that carry over from some of their great robot vacuum cleaners. We also get that same experience within our mobile app. We can have multi level support if we want to create multiple maps and we can get that room by room or area clean. I'm really happy with those features. But there are a couple features I want to see added to this particular product in the future. The biggest one by far is the ability to have a self cleaning, self drying and self refilling base unit that can take care of the water and solution for us. With this being iRobot brand, I expect the best of the best from them. So I'm holding them to a higher standard. When you're buying a dedicated robot mop, this should have the latest and greatest features. So that's what I wanna see with this unit in the future. I'm sure there's probably one being worked on to be released sometime in the future, as you'd expect as technology progresses. But I'd like to see that now, even if it costs us a couple hundred bucks, more. Also, I really would like to see this unit have maybe some spin brushes, a scrubbing option in motion as well, not just having the pad move back and forth. I would love to get some of that scrubbing action so we can get maybe some more stubborn stains, dirt, things like that that are maybe stuck onto the floor that just wiping won't get, but being able to have a spinning brush to help knock and loosen that up, that would be really cool in the future. Overall though, I'm impressed with it for what it's capable of doing. It did a better job than my initial expectations were for it, so I've enjoyed it. Also, as I'm thinking about it, the last thing I'd wanna see um, improved in this design is maybe some better corner cleaning options. I don't know what it needs if the mopping pad needs to come out right here on both sides, just so it can really get up close to like your baseboards where it meets the wall with the floor. So when it's turning around, it can get those hard to reach and stubborn areas. Not a deal breaker for me, but it would be nice if they continue to innovate on the design of this machine as well to get all of those hard to reach areas around your house.